Hi, and welcome back to The Floating Bubble. Hope you guys all enjoy, and don't forget to check out our podcast, available on all platforms. The Perfect School Picture Written by Deborah Dyson Pictures by Dan Santac I'd planned for months this was going to be the year of the perfect school picture. But some days, not everything goes according to plan. The day started with the worst case of bedhead ever. Exhibit A, the front view. Exhibit B, side view. Exhibit C, back view. Exhibit D, the look on my brother's face when he saw my hair. Then it took me quite some time to unearth my favorite shirt. I finally found it at the very bottom of the hamper. You might call it stained. You might call it wrinkled. Might even call it smelly. You wouldn't be wrong. Breakfast was picture day pancakes, a family tradition. This year's festivities involved a small syrup disaster. More accurately described as a large syrup disaster, it occurred exactly as the bus pulled up. I had a feeling we'd be getting a new family tradition. On the bus, I got into a small bit of trouble. Make it a large bit of trouble. The bus driver made me sit in the seat right behind him for the rest of the ride. By the time I got into school, my picture day face was fixed in a scowl. In class, Mrs. Smith collected our photo order forms. Do you think my mom checked emerald green for my photo background? Or peacock blue? Or pizzazzy purple? No. Once again, of all the backgrounds in the world, mom checks gnawing, boring, traditional gray. No one gets traditional gray, except for me. And it just so happens to be the only color in the world that makes my favorite shirt disappear. All but the stains and wrinkles. After that, the teacher had us all stand up and practice our picture day smiles. Personally, I thought we needed a little something to get us in the picture day mood. Whoops, I got myself in trouble. Again. Luckily, I got to rejoin the class in time for art. Art involved quite a lot of paint. Or at least it did for me. Finally, it was time to line up for our photos. Ned, just in front of me, got the last complimentary plastic cone. I watched his classmate after classmate smile for the camera. I got queasy listening to everyone say, Cheese! I can't stand cheese. The mere thought of it turns me green. Deeply green. And just as my face reached its most awful pea green shade, it was my turn. I stepped forward. I sat down on the stool. It was hard as a rock and cold as an iceberg. Just a sec, said the photographer as he fiddled with the camera knobs. As I sat and waited, everything that had happened rushed through my mind. The monstrous messes, the muddles and the mix-up, the whole day from the moment I rolled out of bed had gone perfectly, even better than planned. This year... I was finally going to get the perfect school picture. That's when I heard, click, in a flash, all my hard work, my perfectly tangled hair, my perfectly rumpled shirt, my perfectly sticky face, my perfectly composed scowl, perfect boring background, those perfect paint splatters. That perfect stickly parlor. Wasted. Useless. Ruined. In a moment of weakness. By an unexpected smile. Mom says, 
It's my best picture ever. Just wait till she sees next year's. Hope you guys enjoyed that cute story. See you next time. Bye.